Hey Aquarius, what's up? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot coming to you with your general love tarot reading for October 2020. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love. Love messages for my Aquarius out there. How's it going? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is a general love reading, guys, so it won't resonate with every Aquarius out there. Take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Also, do check your moon, rising, and Venus sign, as well as the other videos on my channel. If it hits home, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. All right, Aquarius, we're going to see what's coming in for you guys in love or what you need to know about your love life. It could be someone that you're dating, connecting with, or the energy of a past lover. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit for you guys. All right, if you want a private love reading, let me know. Information is in the description box. Also, check me out on Patreon. If you want extended bonus love readings, how does my partner feel about me? All right, Aquarius, what's going on with you guys? Let's see. Ooh, the King of Wands. You guys could be dealing with a fire sign here. Leo Sag Aries, someone is very much attracted to you. A lot of passion, desire, sexual energy here. I'm just saying. Macho man, all right? He knows he is good looking. All right, so what's the current energy between you guys? Ooh, five of cups. So, you know, there's some regrets here, okay? Maybe this person you're dealing with has some regrets about how they treated you. There could have been some things that were said. Maybe they um, did something that hurt you, okay? Because um, the King of Wands, I mean, you know, they're good looking. They attract a lot of attention. And it could have, they could have hurt you, okay? Let's see. Let's find out some more. On your person's mind is the Ace of Wands in reverse. So, you know, something here, stop moving, okay? Um, either you or, you or your person, Aquarius, decided that this is something they can't do anymore okay so something here stopped completely i'm getting like it came to a screeching halt okay and there's some regrets there's some remorse about how they treat you and how um something that went down all right let's see how they view you aquarius Ooh, the six of cups so you're their person you are their soulmate, someone that makes them happy. There's a lot of beautiful energy around this connection, okay? Nostalgia. This person is doing a lot of thinking about you. That Six of Cups is reflecting on the good times and memories, right? So there's someone here from your past, more than likely here with the Six of Cups. You guys have history, and they're regretful about how something here came to a halt, okay? Now, in their feelings and emotions, a judgment. See, this person wants to make a decision here about the status of this connection or where this is going to go, okay? So let's see. How do they see moving forward here with you? Ooh, the Nine of Wands. See, they want to fight for you. Someone wants to fight for your attention or fight for you back, okay? Because ultimately, they want to make a judgment call. And typically, this is something final, something big about coming together or reconciling or, you know, becoming your significant other right making it official but the on your mind is that you probably don't want them anymore Aquarius like you've lost the passion and desire for them with the ace of wands in reverse but someone look at that they've been through the trenches you guys have may have been fighting and arguing and been through a battlefield but someone has not given up someone is persevering and is going to jump through hoops and hurdles for you all right that's what i'm saying someone's fighting for you now what's going on behind the scenes the six of wands in reverse well they don't feel complete without you they miss you right they're not getting the attention from you aquarius and they're feeling like crap all right so someone isn't feeling victorious they're not able to achieve something here with you because aquarius you're you're pushing back right there's something here that came to an end or there's some regrets or uh this they're looking back at the past that's something here that they they weren't able to move forward with okay there's something here that they lost and yeah they don't have your attention so they feel horrible and that's why they're wanting to fight for you now what's the advice from tarot oh the ten of cups so spirit is saying that this this person has a ability to make you happy. You can have this ten of cups with them. This is family, home, like love, okay, fulfillment, emotional bliss, peace, joy, beautiful energy. So the ch the outcome here is the chariot. Wow, cancer energy. Someone's moving towards you very very quickly, okay. And something here may have not been moving for for some time with the ace of wands something here has been stuck for some time but now how they see moving forward is making this decision and finally get up and running with the nine of wands because they want to fight for you now they view you as someone here who they can make you happy you guys can have a family together six of cups even children they're very attracted to you with that king of wands a lot of passion movement so the chariot is them taking charge right Ooh, aquarius but you're cold you're ice cold towards them Okay, that's your energy coming out in overall theme. So they may be feeling like, I don't know, is Aquarius going to take me back? Aquarius is kind of, 
cut me out. That Queen of Swords, she's been through some hurt. She's been through a fair share of heartbreak. And perhaps, Aquarius, your partner's looking at you and you're like, they're kind of like, oh my gosh, Aquarius is not going to allow me to come in. They're going to cut me out. They're going to take that sword and slash me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Aquarius, you may, you may not be so warm and welcoming okay so what's this queen of swords let's get some more clarity here for aquarius sun moon rising and venus cross fractures you're welcome just switch the roles if it makes more sense but don't force it to fit all right this is not for everyone all right queen of swords that's why i offer personal readings all right queen of swords gemini libra aquarius this is your energy Ooh, we got the devil you may feel this person's toxic to you or there may be something that they were involved in that was getting in the way of this connection that devil some of you guys just dealing with the capricorn i'm just saying all right let's get another card in that devil energy i need to find one more for my aquarius out there all the details this is Ooh, page of wands so you may have felt this person was a little bit of a playboy a play girl okay you may feel like they just come in right they may come in for the wrong reasons they want you know sex they want intimacy passion love making but you feel like they're just you don't want that you may feel like this person's toxic or no good or you know that that devil can be anything so you guys take it how it resonates but there also may be some communication coming in okay with that page of wands leo sag aries tell me more about the king of wands you guys are dealing with someone who's very very attracted to you passion go-getter they're very aggressive they take action they know what they want so someone has definitely got their eye on you three of wands and they're wanting to move forward right they're doing a lot of thinking so you may feel like oh yeah nothing's moving things are stagnant i don't know how this person feels about me well yeah well you're on their mind they're on your mind okay this is like you guys <laughs> are thinking about each other the three of wands is they're waiting they're waiting they're doing a lot of waiting but they're also having a lot of regrets so let's see, what's this three of wands? It could have been a third party this person put you in as well, which may have caused this ending with that three of wands. But your person's reflecting and they want the situation to change, right? They want to move forward here with you, the death in reverse. See, something came to an end very, very quickly and they want some change here. The death in reverse is also signifying maybe this person didn't change. Maybe they lacked change or they weren't willing to change their ways here with the devil. Maybe they were very flirty and getting involved with other people that you didn't like and third parties with the three of wands. That's what I'm feeling for a lot of you guys. Now, the current energy is the five of cups, some remorse, some regrets, the tower, Wow. So something got shooken up in your person's life, Aquarius. That tower hit, right? It came down and, you know, it changed the course of this connection or the way this person felt. And so that five of cups is some regrets about how they treated you or, you know, maybe the fact that they weren't moving. They were dealing with other people. But now it's like an aha moment. There's a big enlightenment. Something got shooken up here and they're like, wow, Aquarius was my person. What's this tower about? Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. And we got the justice, see? Maybe this person was in a marriage or some kind of commitment. You may have been married to this person. Or you guys are dealing with the Libra, okay? But I feel ultimately something stopped moving with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Wow. The lovers and the Ten of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries. And we got Gemini energy. Something stopped moving. You may have felt it got too burdensome and may have decided, you know what, I'm pulling a cord, right? And so your person's thinking about that. You may have decided to let this person go because they brought too much drama, too much worries. And you may have been fighting for this person too. You may have you may have seen that this person was your was your lover, was you know your soulmate. Okay. Some of you guys may be even being in a twin flame with this tower. And I feel like all of a sudden now they're realizing who you are, right? Who you mean to them. This is on their mind. So now they know that you're their soulmate, that you're that special person. And they probably didn't see it before, right? Until the tower bone came down, all right? So the Six of Cups, is they view you as their, you know, someone here who they have very fond memories of, right? You guys had good times. No bad memories here for sure. So whoever you're connecting with or whoever this past person is, the Six of Cups is saying that you guys had a great time. But yeah, I feel like ultimately, you know, this person couldn't bring bring you the happiness that they um they wanted to bring to you, okay? You may have felt like they just, you know, there was a very beautiful relationship, but they were left in the dark or they were uh they weren't seeing it. There was something here that wasn't clear, is what I'm seeing. The sun in reverse is unhappiness, but it's also, you know, um not getting the clarity or the enlightenment. So Perhaps you guys could have had this beautiful relationship, right? Happiness, bliss, love, um, a lot of healing energy with that. But someone wasn't seeing it then. And I feel like now with that judgment, Aquarius, now this person's like, oh, wow. Aquarius was 
everything to me. I had it all. Some of you guys are done with the Leo here. Give me another card here. What's this about? See the moon in reverse. So now something's being revealed. Now the veil's coming off. This person may have had fears and anxieties also about telling you how they feel. They repressed their emotions for you. And now it's coming out in the open. And that's why now this person is making this judgment call, making this decision and turning this connection around, turning the, the direction of where this is going. Because now they want to open up. They want to tell you how they feel, let their emotions out. You know, I'm getting this person has just been keeping you in the dark with the sun in reverse. So what's this moon? This person may have also lacked healing as well. And now they're making this decision, right? Head of a heart decision. Some of you guys that were dealing with someone else, right? And they couldn't make this, this uh, take this action towards you. The two of swords stuck in a, in a land of indecision at a crossroads. And now they're making this decision with the judgment card. Judgment is final. So that's what's going on. And how they see moving forward here with you is the nine of wands. So fighting for you, right? Ultimately, fighting for your attention, fighting for you back. And there definitely may be a lot of drama in there in that situation between you guys. But someone is doing a lot of thinking. Seven of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And they, they know that it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a struggle for them to come back in your life. But they're willing to fight for you. They're willing to persevere and make up and come back together. And they know it's going to be difficult with that Five of Wands. But they're thinking, how do I go about it? How do I you know, strategize? How do I get back in Aquarius life here? How do I make it better? I, you know, we had such a beautiful relationship. We had chemistry. We had passion. We had love, you know, and what happened? Yeah, I ruined it because this person probably got involved with something here that they shouldn't have. Third party or addictions, drug, alcohol. So the six of wands, your person is not, you know, too happy. They're not feeling victorious being without you. And they want to now communicate. Look at that. The Page of Pentacles. Because you are their happiness. You bring them so much complete fulfillment, love, joy. And this person may be envisioned, you know, having everything with you. A home, a family, love. So let's see. I do feel like your person's moving forward very quickly with the chariot. This is about taking charge, going after for what it is they want. And to have a unity, right? To come back with someone that they really have a very beautiful loving relationship. That Six of Cups. Nostalgia, they can't get their mind off of you. And they're not feeling so hot without you, right? They miss you. And the Page of Pentacles is communication. So you can expect communication coming through and then wanting to take a leap of faith. So that chariot with the fool is, I'm coming towards you. I want this new beginning. I'm really willing to do whatever it takes to get you back, even if it's a risk, okay? And uh, some of you guys are blocking this person out or maybe feeling like you need more time before you take this leap of faith because it's a risk here that you probably need to just think about okay if you want to get involved but there's a lot of beautiful energy the six of cups and the ten of cups reuniting with a soulmate someone here who brings you a lot of happiness and joy in your life so it's up to you if you want to take this leap of faith okay and move forward here with the chariot okay so that's what i have for you aquarius let me know if this resonates like share comment subscribe all right take care stay safe stay blessed